so we have Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and as well Scorpio Rising on our hands. Uh, weekly love and relationship tarot reading, January 13th to January 19th, 2020. And uh, if you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, you can have a look into this into the description uh, down below. Uh, and there you're going to find a, a link to my uh, website from which you can purchase such. So uh, that being set aside, moving into the reading straight away. Now we do have the tower card and what a start here uh, with as a topic of uh, our Scorpio week, followed by the next one, which is the energies supporting the topic. Thank God we do have something like the four of swords to normalize the violence of the tower. Followed by the next one, which is uh, the challenges that we need to overcome for throughout the week. That will be the uh, Page of Pentacles. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the gifts and the blessings that we can enjoy throughout the week, Scorpio. That will be uh, the Eight of Wands. Followed by on how people are going to see us. How people are going to take on us. What kind of an impression we are leaving into the people around us. Uh, that will be the um, Knight of Swords. Then what we have, it is what is going to help our long-term love and relationship goal. We have the strength card. Next one, what is going to hurt our long-term love and relationship goal? That will be the devil. And the last one, which is the guidance that Taro is offering here. Well, that is a bumper. Uh, we do have the seven of swords. So... Um, well, my fellow Scorpio, it does look like that that will be quite of a, a dynamic week. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the energies, which is the Four of Swords here, accompanied with the Tower card. Um, it does look like that with those energies, whatever bothered us in terms of love and relationship, you know, situations, issues, plights, and so on and so forth. It doesn't look like that is going to affect us in any way for throughout the week. But we are going to have another set of problems in, re in regards to our love life. And that set of problems, and I'm saying problems, quote, in quote, because they are not going to be much of our problems or may not be much of our problems. Uh, it is that we have to deal with. And let me uh, try to explain you what I mean here. The Tower card is taking so many different gazes and definitely does not have to mean tragedy, definitely does not have to mean, um, how can I say it, chaos, definitely does not have to mean um, catastrophe, all right? Tower card, it is like a, um, especially in terms of love and relationship, it is like a shattered glass that we have the chance to pick up the pieces and glue them back together. Or it could also mean the process of shattering the glass. So, um, best way how I can describe this, it is if I give you a few examples. The tower may mean crush, okay? Crush that you're going to have over someone. So, it's like you recently or in a certain portion of time back in the days, you end up a marriage, you end up a relationship, whatever, and you said to yourself, that's enough, I had enough of it, or I, I don't want to be in that position anymore, and I swear to all that it is holy that I will never gonna fall so stupidly in love. In love. Well, you kind of spoken prematurely because this is what the Tower card may refer to you. Shattering down the glass that you have built up of not falling in love just like that and there you go you do it may also come up as a unplanned pregnancy because we're talking about relationships and love and in fact many times it came up into my private readings just as such you know um unplanned pregnancy it may come up as a um proposition for a engagement or a marriage because you have not expected it. So you have to expect the unexpected in term of a love life. Whatever you have set as a goal to yourself, especially in a negative way, is going to be shattered and rebuilt. Important thing, rebuilt as well. So definitely as well, the card does not have to mean breakup. It does not have to mean affair. 
okay? It just, it means that you're going to undergo some rather violent transformations that ultimately, at the end, they finish up with nurturing, healing, and growing effect upon your love and relationship life. Uh, when I mention the crush, that crush may not be mutual. For example, someone may crush for you. It doesn't have to be you that is going to be crushed on someone, that is going to have a crush on someone, right? It may play many, many different gazes, or as many, many different gazes. So, and the Four of Swords here as an energy, it only points, you know, that we can focus on only on that specifically and make a rather deliberate, deliberate, deliberate or deliberate and uh, very meticulous actions so we can manage that quote-unquote crisis because for some it's not going to be crisis. I mean, if you have a crush upon someone that has a crush upon you, that's not crisis, but yeah, again, catches you unprepared and asks you to act in a very different way than you have planned to act. That is something very, um, how can I say it, uh, very typical for the Tower card. So take it that way. Something is going to happen into your love life throughout this week that is going to make you act in a very different way than what you have anticipated up until now. And at the end, is going to have a healing, nurturing and growing effect upon your love and relationship life. So the next one is going to be... Um, the challenge, and that will be the Page of Pentacles. So why did I start it with a, a crush example? It is because the Page of Pentacles, when it comes into a, a love and relationship le readings, very often it kind of means that a friendship that you have, it's more than a friendship. Or if I have to translate it in another way, someone that it kind of says that it is a friend of yours actually has more than just a, fr a friendship emotions towards you. So the chance of that the crush is from the other side towards you, it's a very, very big Scorpio. And um, as a challenging card here, it does look like that uh, the friendship means a lot for both of you and it will be rather very difficult to transform it into a, a relationship if you decide to do so. And this is where the Tower card A plays a role. You know, you are such a good friend with that guy or with that woman and suddenly you are drinking coffee with them in the cafeteria and they say, look, I just, you know, I like you, all right? I, I, I love you. And that kind of shocks you. It is because you have not expected it. And what do you do? You say, well, I don't love you and you break up the friendship or you just, how do you act? All right. I mean, it's going to be a shocking thing. And that's why you have to take your time. Just don't say anything. Say, I have to think about it and think about it. And don't, like say, don't just throw it away lightly. But the page it's a very devoted person as well, okay? So whatever they, whatever that person says, they really, really mean it. And their devotion is towards you, Scorpio. But it's kind of challenging in a, such a way that, how can I say it? Uh, it's, it's difficult to manifest it, once again, for one or another reason. And that's why the whole situation to be manifested, it needs a, a transformation, just like the Tower card says. Uh, now, the next one, it is the gift. So, one second to maintain control over my camera. All right. So, next one, it is uh, the uh, gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week. And the Eight of Wands, it's a lot of attention. It is just it's what it says. You can enjoy the gifts and the blessings of a lot of attention and a lot of free time, let's say, to manifest your wishes in terms of a love and relationship life. So you can expect a lot of time to spend with your uh, person of interest, for example, that you're going to have those chances to spend time with them. You're going to have a lot of time to spend with yourself, if you will, if you love yourself so much, okay? You will have as well a lot of opportunities to have a good time with friends and so on and so forth. So in generally, this week is very open for you to spend it the way you want while simultaneously tackling with this quote-unquote again, 
seemingly crisis that is coming up into your love and relationship life. And it's not, once again, it is not that much of a crisis than a something that rather shocks you with uh, as a, uh, as a argument or as a, a fact that it is happening around you. So the next one here, it is how people are going to see you. What kind of an impression you are going to leave, uh, leave into people. And that is the Knight of Swords. So, uh, first of all, people are going to take on you as a, a person who is, how can I say it? Um, well, in our country, we do have a specific word for that. I would use the word careful, okay? Uh, careful in the sense of that uh, people are seeing you as someone who realizes that there is a lot in stake here and as a, uh, someone who really holds on into what is there to his heart, either a friendship or a love or a, or a, or a, a relationship. But also people are going to see you as a, a person who um, decides in such a way that uh, everybody at the end of the day is not hurt from the situation. So in other words, people are going to have faith in you. This is how you're going to present yourself. But also people are going to have the impression that you are not going to leave the things hanging and you are actually going to see that thing through. Maybe not in this week, but you are going to give the impression that you're determined to settle the uh, the whole situation to a point where the situation grows on its uh, own accord. So uh, what is going to be... Um, the thing that is going to help your long-term love and relationship go, Scorpio, or what is going to help our long and yeah, love and relationship go in the long term. We do have the strength heart, and uh, it tells me a couple of things. It does depend what kind of a situation you are in, but this card, well, kind of urges you to give an expression to your passion, right? In case so. Whoever wants uh, makes you passionate and it kind of tells you that they want to have something with you. The card kind of urges you to try it out and to give yourself to it. But the biggest thing or the bigger thing that the card here says, it is that whatever you decide to do with this tower card transformation, it needs to come from the bottom of you rather than for what you have been told to do, all right? And whatever conclusion you come up with, either you make it or break it, keep up with the friendship or transform it into a uh, relationship or say, you know, uh, you or your girlfriend find out that it is pregnant, unplanned pregnancy. I'm not saying unwanted, I'm saying unplanned pregnancy. The decision of what you're gonna do from now on, it should be yours and hers or yours and his not your family's one, not her family or his family's one, not your friend's one. It has to be yours, okay? So what the card here really says in that particular narrative, it is that um, you should not constantly explain yourself and trying to convince everybody into your righteousness, but you have to be in tune, humble and in peace with your own um, conclusion and a, a, a way of doing things. The next one, it is what is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship goal. And that is the devil card and taking advantage of the situation, really, which is another thing that let me think that actually you're going to be on the upper hand. For example, if it is a crush, you're not going to be the one who has the crush. It's going to be the other person, right? If it is about, uh, for example, pregnancy, actually that pregnancy is to solve a lot of things. You know, say you are going to have that guy hooked or you're going to have that girl hooked. And the, the, the devil, it's all about abusing that particular power, right? So you should be someone who shows compassion, someone who put it, puts themselves into the other person's shoes and etc etc instead of once again you know completely disregarding how the other per pe person feels to take advantage of the circumstances of the situation and forge a different circumstances that benefits you and you only and the last card here um which is um, about the guidance that Tara is offering 
we do have the Seven of Swords and it's kind of baffling that we do have the Seven of Swords here. Actually, the card points and that is uh, something that uh, it kind of strikes me right now that I'm seeing it and following the narrative that I am um, keeping up here. It is that ultimately at the end of the day, it is your decision what you are going to do. You are going to uh, have the, let's say, the battle or the war that you are signing for, or you are going to walk away and start a new one, so completely disregarding the transformation. Ultimately, it is your, uh, once again, decision. But at the end of the day, whatever decision you take here, how to tackle with this transformation that is happening into your life, it needs to be righteously supported, okay? It is, for example, I'm doing something because I can or I'm doing something something because I feel like it. That is not righteously supported with arguments or with, um, if you will, with self-righteousness. So um, that way, if your arguments or your actions, your decisions are righteously supported, then um, you are going to be rewarded with uh, exactly what you deserve from it is because this man here takes away five swords what he what he have been owned also could have taken seven of them but he left the two of them it is because he feels that he does not deserve them and moves on toward his own agenda another reason why should the decision for how you are to proceed here scorpio from now on should be yours and not your families not your friends not your mentor's decision it should be yours decision so that being said scorpio it's i am quite quite um thrilled to kind of see how this is going to unfold for me but yeah, Scorpio, uh, hopefully, guys, it's going to be on a very, very positive end for every single one of us, this transformation in our love and relationship life. And uh, hopefully as well that you have liked the reading. If you do want, once again, a personal one, you can have a look into the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can a, purchase such. So um, hopefully, again, we're going to see each other around. And until then, bye.